Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> When an average person is asked, France mate, what's France about? You may reply, it's about the Eiffel Tower, it's about croissant, oh yes, frogs legs, snails, yes. But when the same question is asked to a Muslim, they say blasphemous cartoons of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, hypocrisy. Islamophobia. Why? Why this disparity in the answers? Because in Europe, France is one of the most vocal countries that are going after Muslims. Yeah, and it's not the Muslims that have done anything wrong. It's the Muslim women. It's the Imams that haven't done anything wrong, mate. They just want to cover their head. <laughs> yeah, you don't go after a motorcyclist. You don't go after these 70 year old grannies that are going for their shopping. Tell them, take off your headscarf, mate. No, this is only reserved for Muslim women. So, going back to this whole cartoon flex, yeah, when Muslims raised any issues against the cartoons, we had it's freedom of speech. You can't curtail our freedom of speech, but it's the same nation with the same leader, Emmanuel Macron. When somebody made a cartoon against him, oh ho 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 ho, what are you doing? You can't do that, <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> what? I I'm sorry, what happened to freedom of speech there mate? But very recently, again, there's another cartoon, but this time this cartoon was published by the Russian embassy in which it showed Europe on the table being injected by all sorts of uh, media news, yeah, media news, and France was not happy about that. Oh no, 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 no! Freedom of speech, you shut your mouth, okay, and you take a seat while we deal with this, mate. And they did deal with this indeed. They use words like this is unacceptable, they said it's a disgrace, they said this is inappropriate. Okay, hold your horses mate, hold your horses, to such a degree that they managed to get it removed. So this is definitely one of the many hypocrisies that we've seen during this, that have emerged during this Ukraine-Russia conflict. And another thing that's taken a backseat is freedom of speech. Russia Today, the news outlet has been banned. The CIA has admitted that we're doing information warfare and we're winning the information warfare. Well done, well done, yeah? Debates happening in Western news, but everybody seems to be singing from the same hymn sheet. I mean, we know this is elementary. Teachers in schools, parents at home, whenever you're dealing with a conflict, you need to listen to both sides. And because this is not happening, you're getting the most ridiculous things being done. Chicken Kiev being renamed, Dostoevsky, the famous writer, novelist, his books are getting banned. Anything to do with Russian culture mate is being affected and this is affecting the average Russian person. Yet yeah, Russian people are being discriminated against and as Muslims we know how it feels. We know how it feels and we say this no matter if it is to do with Russia phobia or anti-Semitism or you know Christian phobia, whatever it is, you should not be judging the entire religion based upon the actions of a few. And hate begets hate, yeah? Hate begets hate and the media utilizes anger, yeah? Anger gets more retweets, yeah? If there's a story about rainbows and butterflies, you're not gonna be like, <gasps> guys check this! No. Yeah, that's why you've got academics like Noam Chomsky that have written books like Manufacturing Consent and they emphasize this point that it is things like this that get more media attention. Yeah, so let's not fall into this trap and let's keep our eyes open and be vigilant that yes, hypocrisies exist and educate your kids who are going to be living in this, well, let's face it, this new world. Let's leave it there guys, until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.